We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more. The reason it is so crucial that you pack your shit, like you fold it and you pack your items like really well before you move in somewhere is that your moving process is like so much simpler. Okay, so I'm trying to like fold up all of my shirts that was in here because child is so motherfucking misconstrued. I don't even know how I have the energy to do what the fuck I'm doing right now. I'm tired. I be feeling like, I be trying to be like fucking super women sometimes. And it's like, who called me to this duty? That's not my duty. So I've been peeping this thing, right? A lot of people, I, I don't even want to say people, but a lot of women have a problem with self accountability. Y'all really have a problem with like sitting back and being like, hmm, you know what? I just might have been the problem. Or you know what? I, I played a part into why things played out the reason why it played out and it all stems down to basically ego like you just want your fucking ego stroked right so it's like even when i know i'm wrong i'm not gonna admit that i'm wrong because then when i'm when i admit that i'm wrong that takes like a stroke away from my ego but you have to real like if that's the type of person that you're gonna be and if that's the type of person that you choose to be and by all means you can choose whoever the fuck you want to be and you can be that like freely trust me you can but you also have to be ready for the consequences that come on the back end of that because at the end of the day if you never take a step and look inward okay you can never solve a problem because it takes two to tango and a lot of people don't understand what that definition means and what that means is whenever there is a conflict it always took two parties it took your side and they side to make what happened the situation regardless so y'all be struggling so hard just to sit there and literally say Damn, Twin, you right. I was wrong for that. My bad. Y'all don't, y'all not good at communication. So when y'all really feeling the type of way towards y'all homie or whatever, y'all don't even tell y'all homie, hey homie, I'm feeling the type of way. Y'all literally just start going and being fucking fake. It's just start talking shit and just start a whole fucking issue where all you have to do is just speak on why, what, what, what made you feel the way that you felt. And it's like, it's really childish to me because. I didn't grow up with emotionally intelligent people at all. My mom and daddy have literally zero intelligence when it comes to emotions. They don't know how to deal with them, fathom with them. They don't even know how to acknowledge them, um, accept them. They don't know how to, they don't know how to do shit with emotions, okay? And this is why their ass is cut off right now to this day. You have to stop being afraid of, like a vulnerability basically, that's what it is. People just don't be wanting to be the person to say like, oh yeah, I fucked up, my bad. And that's okay, I understand it, but at the end of the day, that's not being mature. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't wanna fucking do because that's the adult way of doing things. <laughs> I feel like I just went on a world profound run, bitch. I don't think nobody has ever, ever got that much shit that I have got in like that amount of time. I don't think so. I'm about to go through the whole thing. Like, it was so deep for me that I didn't even record. Okay? I literally was like, no. Like, nah. I got shit to do. Okay? So, first things first, I finally bought my dog a playpen. Then I bought this turf, this grass turf. So, now I'm about to put the grass turf on here because now we're starting the extensive part of, what's this shit called? Potty training. Just to get her fucking done. Oh my God. Please don't look at my toes. They not done. And I hate when people look at my freaking toes when they're not done. Tell so people like, before I ever think about getting a child, I need to get a dog. I needed to get a dog. Yep. Give me a dog so I know how I'm gonna do with that. And if I can't do with no dog, I can't do with no child. If I can do with dog, and let's try to bump it up a notch to a full flesh human fucking being, you know what I mean? She really looking at me like, bitch, fuck you. Hold on. I, yes, I keep a diaper on her because like I said, she even pee. Okay. Good job. Okay. Good job, Aura. Good job, girl. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all saw that? I spent $30 at Walmart. 
$60 at Ross. $70 at Burlington. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do calculations like as we speak. So in total, all the shit that I'm about to show y'all, I have gotten for $246. So about $250, you're, listen to me. You're not gonna beat it. You're not. I am the bargain shopper. Like, that's what I do. So this is all the things I got from Burlington for $75. So, uno, uno, numero, I mean, uno, numero, numero, uno, numero, 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 there we go. I got these really cute cups. Very cute. See, I'm, I'm building my dream life, and in my dream life, like, I really, really, really like having a like i don't like having like random plates and dishes and shit like like i like everything to have like a theme and aesthetic like just it just lines up i got this this is basically like food storage containers it is a eight piece set and i got it for five bucks mix and bowl set to make stuff with period so yeah mix and bowl stuff and i know this was like eight bucks I got some measuring cups, as y'all can see, this was $3. I got me a dish rack, yup, and this was $10. Mind you, all of this shit look like high quality stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a utensil crock, so it just holds all like your spoons and spatulas and stuff, and it was, and then I got this little spinner, little thing of a jigger bobber. Um, it's like a storage container we put like q-tips face cotton pads i could put my face wash in the middle you know you know the whole jet tweezers whatever but and this was five dollars i don't think i picked up an item that was over ten dollars now that i think about it like nothing that i've shown yet has cost that much and then you know you need your like fork spoon fork spoon knife tray whatever the fuck what's this called organizer tray you get the point five dollars socks $5. And last but not least, I got this bamboo cutting board for $4. So that's what I'm saying. Like you, yeah, you do the math. <laughs> okay, so this is from, no, my camera battery is about to die. Fuck. Now let's get on to roses. Now roses, roses is on some stuff. All right, so we into some new towels. Oh, this is from Walmart. So I got these two towels from Walmart. Okay, I got a new cooking pan because the old one that we had at the other house, the other one that we had at the other house was so like, that, that junk was seasoned, okay? And it was used, I was like, okay, we can get a new one. So I got these cooking pans. It's, I got a three set for $10. I got this food chopper for $4. Um, I couldn't miss out on this bag of a popsicle. I got my boyfriend a rug mat, I mean a bath mat, because he has like OCD with touching the flow after it's like, after he gets out the floor and he's like, and it's wet from the shower. I bought this nice pack of uh, white washcloths. If you don't know, stop washing your ass with colored or dyed washcloths because that dye is not healthy for your skin. I also got some spearmint candies because I'm gonna like put it in a bowl. And then I also bought this. But at Ross, I had bought my dog's playpen, what I just showed y'all. So yeah, I got that playpen. I got that playpen for 30 bucks. And it's a 24 footer for 30 bucks. And then I got two shower curtain liners. You know what I mean? And it's something else in here. Oh, I bought my boyfriend. I don't know why I finished his bathroom off before mine, but fucking whore. Um, I got him just this little nice little Jessica Simpson, whatever. Did he take you out to be? Why does he? Why does he do that? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I digress. Did I not do so well, y'all? She's pissing me off, stepping in her shit. So let me be a mom and fix her up real quick. Thank you, and I'll call y'all back later. to record an outro for you all so this is my um 
sick ass outro so anyways thank you guys for watching my video um if you guys like like comment share and subscribe y'all already know what it is i like these outros just be doing so much bye i will see you next video